So this is the gold medal match for men's teams classes 6 to 8 featuring Sweden against Ukraine. An all-Europe affair, both of these teams exceeding expectation in these games. Sweden finishing fifth in London four years ago and Ukraine were ninth. And here they both are contesting that gold medal. Yeah, the Ukrainians, although have improved since uh, London, they took the team silver at the World Championships, so they'll be fairly confident. A couple of Class 7 athletes and one Class 8 in the world number one, Victor Diduk. Uh, Sweden, just the two, so they'll be busy. <laughs> Linus Carlson, the 27-year-old, and the 23-year-old Emil Anderson. Both class eight athletes, world rank number five Anderson and world rank number nine Carlson. This, of course, a standing match. Classes six to ten are standing. Class six with the least amount of movement around the table. So this is how they're going to line up. Didok and uh, Nikolenko will start with Popov left in reserve. He will play the last singles if needed. So once again, interesting uh, throwing in the world rank number one in uh, class eight in Diduk and uh, world number two in class seven, Nikolenko, hoping to uh, get the job finished in two. Absolutely, and these tactics are so interesting when you have a best of three encounter do you save your better athletes for later or do you put them on straight away to get the job done i think if you if you feel that the uh, other athletes can do the job you put them on first and just have it as an insurance policy impressive coming through without dropping a game the ukrainians sweden as you'd expect against china a little bit tougher in that uh, semi-final but uh, they'll be confident enough Francis Yannick Varango is our chair umpire. He's helped by Ernesto Rivero of Venezuela, sitting down behind the scores. We had to wait just a little bit for uh, the bronze medal match to finish in the previous round of games. So they've had enough time to think and get a bit nervous. They'll be anxious to get going. Yeah, the Ukrainians first up there at the table, and they've got a formidable player in Viktor Diduk. He's uh, got a 97% win rate throughout his career. He's lost just four matches out of 140 Goodness since me. he began playing three years ago. <laughs> That's not bad, is it? 29 years of age, he's going to be around for a little bit longer, although, of course, didn't get a medal in the uh, singles, which is a little bit of a surprise. Lost to Yi Chao Kun who didn't manage to pick up a medal either, ended up fourth, the uh, Chinese athlete. So that's a bit of a surprise. And uh, he does have the gold in the singles in the World Championships from Beijing two years ago, where Ukraine were fifth. So he'll certainly be looking to make amends here, but of course, in the gold medal match, you are guaranteed at least a silver, but you get to this stage and you think, well, Go for gold. You are this close, aren't you? At least uh, you don't have that horrible feeling as you do in the bronze medal match where if I lose this, I go away empty-handed. So Just to uh, clarify, I did say that uh, in 7-8, to eight, Ukraine were in the silver medal position in the team competition. Uh, Diduk in fifth in the team because he was playing in the class nine to ten so you can go up in classes but uh, obviously you can't drop down too many you've got to stay in your classification so that's why you may be a bit surprised to hear Nikolenko has a silver and Diduk doesn't but that's all to do with the classes
Hidukun Nikolenko, 23 years of age. Uh, Nikolenko, 29. Diduk. Sweden team also a, a young team. Carlson, 27, and Anderson, just 23. Though he did play in London, got a bronze in the singles there, fifth in the team. So despite his tender age, still got a lot of experience on the big stage. Done and dusted. About to get underway here. Ukraine in the red shirt, Sweden. And the familiar blue and gold. We start this gold medal competition with the doubles. Let's go up from the umpires. Net court. I'll take this again. Oh, it's well placed. Nikolenko just couldn't quite make it. Look, just uh, not on top of his game at the moment, missing that backhand. <laughs> Wide open. Down the line on the backhand. Sweden coming from behind. Another storming forehand across the table from Anderson. The younger of the two, Emil Anderson. Playing table tennis since she was seven. And they're making good use of the table. Getting around well, pushing the Ukrainians. Making them hurry and try and stretch. And they've Playing brilliantly, and then there's another example. Playing the angles, Anderson with another winner. We ran on the forehand this time. It was a bright start from the uh, Ukrainians. But after having a lead of two, now behind by five. Carlson, for once, not finding his range. Yeah, see what. Uh, was trying to do that. Didn't quite make it stick. It'll reverse to send his opponent the wrong way. Off balance. Longest rally so far. 
Just eight strokes, so uh, short and sweet this match so far. That is game point to the Swedish pair. Five of them, in fact. They didn't need all of them, did they? <laughs> they didn't. They didn't. They take the first game in this gold medal match. And they're looking good for it, weren't they? You see there, a little fist pump from uh, Linus Carlson. Excellent work from them. Really working the table, making the Ukrainian pair scurry around. Five minutes for the first game. They lead one game to nothing. So it is advantage Sweden in the first round of the gold medal match. They lead by one game to love in a frantic start. Yeah, it was uh, fast and furious, but really quite controlled from the Swedes as well, who were just looking to get as much width on their shots as possible. Uh, excellent from Dieduk doing exactly to the Swedes what they were trying to do in that first game to them. Getting it wide. Nice quick shot. Tremendous mobility around the court from Victor Dieduk. Yeah, that's that crutch there. More for a little bit of stability as he serves. But he still gets around so well. Trying to get round onto the forehand. Okay, might have been better there. This time did get that backhand to the shot, but uh, pushing it long. Very difficult when your partner's in the vicinity to get around there. Misread the spin completely there. Flying off the bat and Sweden looking good in this second game as well. Yeah, that's better from the Ukrainians. Just changed the game plan slightly. Bringing the uh, Swede into the net. And it's long. All of a sudden, Ukraine back in this. There's uh, Mikhailo Popov. Are we taking part in the singles? He says his uh, hero is Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be hoping, I guess he'll be hoping he'll be back for the singles because he is on last, I think. Oh, what a shot that was. No wonder. And as Schuster is out of his seat, this is a ripping match. Oh, it's a little bit wild for him, Anderson. Carlson setting up the opportunity for Anderson, but just a little bit out of position.
<laughs> yes, lovely <laughs> from Dino. Great defending initially. Absolutely, and they are back level. I think for the first time in this game. First time in the match, in fact. Well, considering the Swedes had a four-point lead in this match, 5-1, yeah, the Ukrainians have come back well. And all of a sudden, the fire has gone out of the Swedes, and it looks like it's the Ukrainians who have the momentum, the ideas, the movement, and the shots. Stream with the serve, but two points behind. That was an excellent return from Anderson. Really had to stretch, but kept it under control. And a mistake from the Ukrainians. Still a point ahead, and uh, timeout has been called by Ukraine. Very interesting. Quite early, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely, considering you get one per match, it's there. Uh... Well, I guess what well, they just don't want the momentum to go back to Sweden for them to turn it around and to make it to love. So it stands at the moment, very tight in this second game. So Ukraine just letting that three-point lead slip when they were on the verge of closing out the second game. So it'll be interesting to see what they can do after a pep talk from the coach. Sweden have the serve. <laughs> Quite pleased about that shot, isn't he? Pumped up. And why not? Two game points to level things up. So putting Doubles encounter in this gold medal match. Fired up, Victor Dido falls back from four points down at one point in this second game. And they take it by the narrowest of margins. Impressive comeback from the Ukrainians to level proceedings at a game apiece. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty pleased about that one.
So plenty of noise in Rio Centro ahead of this third game between Ukraine and Sweden. Really tight contest there in the second. Some fantastic table tennis on show. Yeah, the uh, fans can get excited about this. They'll get excited about nothing because it's a great game and it's tight. Nip and tuck this one. And uh, who can take this pivotal third game? That's better from the Swedes, making space for each other. Playing shots nicely onto the end of the table. And their fans here, no mistaking them. <laughs> Dancing around the end of the table. Right at that point. They go again. He's fired up, isn't he? Dida, the world number one. Missed out on a gold in the singles. He'll be looking to put things right here. the dink rather than the power and it paid off for Sweden still behind here though no! Anderson trying to play it on the backhand. Yeah, possibly the forehand was the shot to have. And they're dominating the table. The Ukrainians now. They were not even at the races in the first game. Time out surely from the Swedes very soon, or perhaps they'll just accept that this one is slipping away. Oh, that's a great forehand, though, from Emil Anderson. A lot of work to do, though, in his third game. Directed to the net. And it took a touch of the net as it went through from Anderson. Better from Sweden. Five, they have the serve, they have the advantage, Ukraine. That's another great shot from Dinuk. He can barely contain himself. Every point Ukraine win. 
speaks four languages. I think he's celebrated in every single one so far. <laughs> Sounds like it. Closing in on this third game. Pressure really on Sweden. And his game point for Ukraine. Four game points. What a turnaround in this game. After the first one, they are all at sea. Nikolinka with a serve. Oh, that was a brilliant return. And what a way to win that game. They are in a hurry, by the looks of it, to win the match. That's the shot there. Arrived very late, but there was nothing wrong with the shot he managed to produce. And Sweden on the ropes at the moment. After starting brightly, trailing by two games to one. So back at the table for game four, a really impressive win there for Ukraine in the third. They came roaring back and they hold the advantage here, leading two games to one. We'll see if they can keep that momentum going with a win here in the fourth, or whether Sweden can mount a comeback. Well, they're going to have to be positive, Sweden, and try and reproduce that form of the first game, pushing the ball wide. Hitting the table, not pushing it long, so what they've been forced into by the energetic response of Ukraine. That's exactly what they have to do. Crisp shots, no margin for error, but get it out wide if you can. just cramping up the Swedes into the body from the Ukrainians and that works well as well <laughs> he is so fired up Diduk he's bouncing around like a kangaroo isn't he he's so excited when he wins a point why and as Shostead would call the players in staring down the barrel here So Sweden have the serve, they need to make this one count. Can't let that two-point gap grow. Mm -hmm. 
Such a swing of momentum. And the Swedes get themselves back into this match. Chris from Carlson. This is better from the Swedes. Three apiece. And the Swedes have come roaring back after the timeout. Looking a lot more positive. for Carlson, couldn't land it. Oh, well, spin on that serve. Is it perhaps a little over enthusiastic in the return? Taking the edge of the table. And an apology from uh, Anderson. Oh, and again, just taking the edge of the table. The uh, rub of the green is going with the Swedes at the moment. saying they weren't finding the edge of the table they were going along all of a sudden Sweden have found their range that's an excellent backhand return and it set up the chance for Carlson to finish it off and now it's Diddock who's a bit tentative what a turnaround well played the coach for that time out Absolutely, what a moment to choose to regroup and refocus. Sweden now with a comfortable lead. And uh, a chance to wrap it up. Six game points to take it to two games apiece. Well, this is going to be a very tight affair. <laughs> Sweden win the fourth game and this is wide open they forced a deciding game here in this gold medal match both sets of players really fired up and this is turning out to be an intriguing contest all bar one of these games five minutes long they're not hanging around like you say and one more game to find out who takes the advantage in the gold medal match in the men's team Classes six to eight competition. to do it with some uh, running repairs so prosthetic leg but, uh, I think he's all right now let's hope there's no problems certainly been bouncing around the table thus far to 
Exciting game then. You wouldn't want to call it one way or the other, would you? So far up, the Ukrainians, Nikolenko, the main cheerleader at the moment. And a good start from the pair. You saw the Swedes come roaring back in the last game. Oh, yes. How about that? Just the reactions off the floor when he hit it. It was just a slap back, no spin at all. Right in the corner. The net, it's gone long. Nilik is straight away skipping after the ball, anxious to get on with it. Four to nothing in this final game. Why wouldn't you want to pile on the pain? The Swedes, of course, not only a timeout left. So they're unable just to break this momentum. I'm pretty sure they're going to call it a timeout if they could by now. The timeout was so effective, it's... But of course, they've run out of lives in that sense. And oh, yes. Well, did it was going one way, the ball was going the other. And uh, the ball's only ever going to be the winner. Nice comeback from Sweden. Coach and the Sørsted bouncing up and down in the corner. He's delighted that the uh, momentum is swinging back again. And that is a brilliant shot. Gave it everything. Had to make sure it was controlled though, so easily fly away. And they are back on level terms after being four down. Halfway through this last game, we will change ends. Still, you wouldn't want to call this one. <laughs> Ukraine just pulling away. Gido still dancing around. So much energy for the 29-year-old. He's proud by his dad to take up the sport. I'm sure he'll be very proud of him. This time just long. And some high quality table tennis, as you would expect, in a gold medal match here at the Paralympics. Oh, long from Carlson. Well, this is the business end, and they're just adrift here at Sweden. Competitive stuff. Crowd being really treated to some great rallies. Oh, that's 
Oslo. <laughs> the Swede. And back in is the coach again jumping up and down. Table and back at him. Sweden pulling back that two point gap. And this is incredibly close, isn't it? Coming towards the end of this fifth and final game, and absolutely nothing between the, the teams. No, and uh, I think it's more important for Sweden to get this over the line in the uh, doubles. He looks so strong in the singles, and if they win here, he'd fancy his chances. to tell down but did have sweat on the bat so he just was allowed to wipe that off and now it's the Swedes who are in a bit of a cold sweat three match points to the Ukrainians oh they've done it and <laughs> <laughs> look at the reaction they're celebrating as if they've already won the gold They've just won the match. That's round one to Ukraine, but what a match it was. Yeah, really important, I think, for the destination of the goal of this uh, doubles match. <laughs> well, it'd be interesting on a dance floor, wouldn't it? <laughs> That's how it's finished in the first match of this gold medal match. It is Dirk and Nikolenko who eventually prevail over Carlson and Anderson of Sweden.
So we are almost ready to go in round two, the first individual match of this class six to eight gold medal match between Sweden and Ukraine. Ukraine with that advantage after having won that thrilling doubles encounter. And this is how they line up. Victor Diduk against Linus Carlsen. Both class eight athletes. Diduk, of course, world number one and in fantastic form. Well, he, he certainly was, wasn't he, in the uh, in the doubles. But it's interesting, although uh, Carlson is world ranked number nine, so you know, by, by rankings you expect him not to win. Both of these athletes were ranked equal fifth of going out in the quarterfinals of the singles. Did it to uh, Yi Chao Kun and Carlson to Peter Goodzin, who got the bronze eventually. So not great campaigns in the singles for either of these athletes. They've got something to prove here. Absolutely, and it really seems like Diduk is desperate to do so. This is uh, Carlson from Grastop, the uh, Vastus Club. Playing in his third Paralympic Games. He, uh, he says his ambition is to win a medal here in Rio, and he is already assured of that. So he's not only achieved it, but he's guaranteed at least a silver. Sit and watch for the rest and hope for the best. Pop off, ready to rock into action. Should a second singles be needed? Twenty-seven years of age, began playing table tennis at the age of twelve. Made his debut way back in two thousand and six. So. He won't be phased by this stage. Not at all. Whereas Diduk only started playing in 2013, but has really made incredible strides in just three years. He takes the early lead. Linus Carlson with um, what's known as Linus syndrome. Well, not named after him, but it affects the mobility in the left leg, and that's why he's been classified in Group 8, Class 8. Oh. Do well to readjust after the net cord. It's He's making quick work of this first game so far. Lovely backhand from Dido, just silky smooth. Six points can take a little towel break, and you always will do. Too easy so far for Diduk. <laughs> Carson not getting that shot right. The rest of the point was perfect from him. for the net cord and uh, did it stretching forward and then planted it right on the edge of the table <laughs> battle of the backhand switch the forehand and uh, Carlson and himself unable to control the spin. Oh. 
Oh, oh, that's not bad, though. Goodness me. Crisp as you like down the line. There you go. Just uh, take the towel. Slow the game down. Take all the momentum out of Carlson's last shot. Oh, what a shot that was. Well, perfectly placed. And five game points. Just reward, really. That's it. Did it take the first game in ultra quick time? Just four minutes it took, and it was a lovely exhibition of table tennis from Viktor Duduk, who is game to the good for Ukraine. Game two now, and Linus Carson with an awful lot of work to do after Didak raced to that win in the first. Of course, Ukraine already leading overall. It wasn't a bad point from Carlson, but even crisper from Dirk. to uh, really dig for that forehand, you look, know, it was good enough. Quite the uh, sparkling showcase the first game was. A lot of uh, spin imparted on the serves, of course. Carlson struggling to return that one. Did it just ahead again. Right. 
neither of these men able to assert their authority in this second game. up in this second game. Seven five. Didok having the edge throughout this match so far. Can he take it to a two game lead? Carson will not let it lie. Coach on his feet. Willing his man on. And once again, forces Diduk into the mistake. Series of really deep. Shots on the table from Carlson. And then Dido manages to celebrate that point. Carlson this time long. <laughs> Off his left hand, I think, that ball. Very powerful from the Swede. Great movement from Diduk. Got himself into the right position for all those shots there. There's the forehand. Carson rocked back, unable to provide a decent return. And it was pounced on by Diduk. 9 apiece. Fooled by the serve. And a game point for Sweden and for Linus Carlsen. <laughs> this time it's the Ukrainian corner that's up and out of their seats. He's turning around from saving the game point to being able to take it to two to nothing. That's what makes your world number one, digging in, never giving up. Batter from Carlson. That's the shot of the game so far from the Swede. He's not giving up either. No. They're both very tenacious characters, aren't they? <laughs> well, that was a quick point. <laughs> Saved. And the Ukrainian, 12 apiece. Read the serve well. Great top spin return. 12 apiece. Seven minutes in this game already. Oh, he's just missed that backhand. A second game point for Dinuk after having to face one from this man here, Linus Carlson.
And he's won it. That's two games to love to Ukraine. Dilek celebrating as we've seen him do throughout this match. And Look at that forehand, though. So much spin on it. Absolutely. And that man is very much in the driving seat now. And uh, so our Ukraine needs one more game to take the gold medal. Victor Dilek looking to dominate Linus Carlson, who has played very well. But he is up against world ranked number one. Man with a point to make after missing out on the singles medals. And Carlson did ever so well to come back in that second game. He really pushed Dieduk far, and it's just a shame that he wasn't rewarded for that. Because mentally it must be so difficult to be in his position right now. Well, you play some decent shots and they come back with interest. And that's why uh, Dieduk just uh, bouncing around. Lots of energy. Good start from Linus Carlson to his third game. It's a long way back if he wants to win this one. Oh, yes. Well, brilliant. Just uh, so easy on the eye, that shot. crisp no answer Carlson after that shot from Dieduk there's the forehand right into the corner If he does get this match in three, and he'll have had to fight and fought every inch of the way. It'll be a little bit harsh to score line on Carlson. He's just ahead here. Hit the net went long. Oh, yes, great defence from Diddock. Carlson trying to push him back. Not perhaps the power and the conviction in his shots. That one wasn't a bad one. Lots of top spin, but it was returned with interest. And we have a timeout, perhaps understandably. This is uh, Carlson, and he started table tennis just because his friends had all tried it, thought he would as well. And why not? Well, look what it's uh, led to, at least a silver medal at the Paralympic Games. One of his heroes apparently is Bruce Springsteen. And if I 
reckon uh, excuse the pun he needs to boss this next few points <laughs> that's awful yeah, it wasn't too good was it look at Dido he's ready doesn't need a timeout he's uh, dancing around he's been in a hurry this entire match I think he's running to collect the ball after every point and you know when he's got the momentum he just wants to finish the job I'm out halting the momentum of the man from the Ukraine. And it is Ukraine who are looking good here. And Victor Dido trying to push Ukraine over the line here. Three points away. That's the serve as well. And that's the problem for Carlson. As much as he plays, and they are not bad shots, they're coming back with a little bit of interest on them. Look at the rotation on that forehand from Diduk. Put everything into it. That's a good point from Carlson. You half expected Didik just to rip another winner. Bit more work to do for him in this match. Timeout call this time by Ukraine. So close to winning this. We want to make sure that the uh, job gets done. Carlson then in this very tight third game looking to keep Sweden alive in this gold medal match. Well, he's got problems here. Two gold medal points. They've won the doubles. Can they win the singles and take the gold medal? Two points to do it for Victor Diduk. One save by Carlson. Still a bit of work to do. Oh, and he's done it. That's the gold for Diduk and his teammates, and look what it means to them. <laughs> An unholy scrum on the floor. And I'm sure at some stage they'll compose themselves ready for the podium. What a fantastic performance from Diduk. So in control, imperious in those three games. And Carlson didn't play bad table tennis at all, but Diduk just had an answer for every shot. And look how much it means to him. Well, you're so pumped up, the adrenaline is flowing. And once you've had the celebration, then all of a sudden, very often, come the tears of joy. And it's, uh, it's lovely to see just how much it means to these guys. The 29-year-old, very much the uh, leader of the Ukrainian team.
Missed out on the gold in the singles, but he will pick one up here. And you have to feel for uh, Carlson and Anderson. They play some great table tennis, the same in the doubles as well, but just not strong enough. And this is the moment that it was gold for Ukraine. Lose the bat, lose the crutch, let's have a little jump around. And it must be very difficult for that And there as it's all going on around him. This is a confirmation of how it's finished. A tight match, but uh, Victor Diduk beats Linus Carlson and Ukraine take the gold.